Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Now my last video was a favorites video and I told you guys in that video that I'd been hauling a little bit here and there and that if I ever hauled again I'd make a haul video. So that's what this is going to be. This is stuff I bought in the last week. I needed to pick up some repurchases of some favorites I use all the time and then I got some things I wanted to try. So if you guys want to see what I picked up during the week just keep on watching. Okay so the first thing I picked up was something I use constantly every single day that I do my makeup. I cannot live without this and I'm talking about the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I got another one simply because I literally only had the ring at the bottom left and it had dried out a good amount. I kept it pretty moist, you know, you can like rehydrate them and stuff like that. So I did that a little bit, but I just knew it was time to like go ahead and get rid of it. So I went ahead and got a new one and it feels so amazing to have a new one again. If you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I just like that it completely neutralizes my lid. I do have a little bit of discoloration on my lid, so I absolutely love that. It just feels like you're starting from a fresh canvas when you're doing your makeup. I'm wearing it today. I always wear it every single day. I don't think there's a day I don't wear it. And if you can see it, that's what it looks like right there. It's just slightly darker than my regular skin tone. So I really love this. If you guys have not tried it, it's my favorite paint pot from MAC. So I highly suggest it. And then also when I was there, I have been wanting fall colored lipsticks big time. If you guys saw my last favorites video, you saw that I've been wearing more darker shades. Now I've been actually wearing things that are darker than that. Um, I've been wearing like Mulberry from L'Oreal and stuff like that. And you guys will see that in my upcoming favorites probably the end of the month or whatnot, but I have picked up even darker ones. The one I've been loving that I wear almost every other day and I get asked every single day that I wear it what I'm wearing is from MAC and it's called Hang Up and this is what it looks like if my camera will focus and I'm actually wearing it today and that's what it looks like and it looks really intimidating inside the lipstick tube but it is does not come off that dark. I think this would look good on dark skin tones, on light skin tones. That's what it looks like. It is so gorgeous and I highly recommend it if you've not tried it. It's just beautiful and it is a cream sheen which is one of my favorites. Lusters and cream sheens are my favorites from Max. their formulations. So I highly recommend this one as well. Like I said, I'm wearing it. It just looks so good and just wear a good lip liner with it or it can bleed a little bit. And staying with that theme, I actually need fall appropriate blushes because a lot of my blushes are more spring summer appropriate so I need to retire those for the next like three to four months since it's getting cooler. And I saw that Tim Talia had reviewed some of the matte, is it Mate? make me matte collection and I saw that she reviewed this one I saw it on Facebook and so I looked I clicked the link and it's the make you mine pro longwear blush and on her it's very rustic looking and I love that so I wanted to go ahead and go try that one out so I did I swatched it and I loved it and on me it pulls more of a like deeper peachy rust color so that's what it looks like on my skin tone if you guys were wondering because I am slightly lighter I believe than she is and I just love it but I think it's going to look good on almost every single skin tone because it just looks so like it's obviously deeper than peach and it's a pretty rust color which I think is really fall appropriate and it kind of just goes with everything so I highly recommend this if you guys have not tried this it is so 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 pretty if I didn't say so enough and then on top of it I needed another brush from MAC and I have seen this forever. I started watching Makeup Geek when she first came out and she always raved about the 239 and I always had it on my list to get it but I have so many brushes I was like I don't really need it but I actually went through and got rid of some of my brushes and stuff like that so I wanted to pick up more so I picked up the MAC 239 sorry if it's dirty I used patina with it last night when I went out with my husband so this is what it looks like I absolutely love it and it's great for packing on color but it's actually really great too for doing a cut crease and I think it's really really a great handy brush if you guys need something like that especially if you have hooded eyes cut creases come in handy because we don't have a natural crease so I really like this and I believe it is $25 and then some more favorites that I needed to purchase because I was completely out of or almost out of um, were from Clinique and the first one was my foundation I use the even better compact makeup in linen and you guys can see my last one I destroyed it so that's, that one's empty so I picked up another one which I have used a couple of times so far and that's what mine looks like and I just love this and if you guys were wondering how I apply it I can make another video for you guys because I don't put this all over my face I actually mainly just put it on my cheeks where I need more coverage and then I'll use my powder foundation everywhere else so and then you can like spot conceal and stuff like that so I really love this if you guys were looking for a full a moderate to full coverage foundation if you have drier skin or dry combo like me easily wearable for you guys and it you cannot feel it for the fact that it looks more full coverage you cannot feel it at all so I highly recommend this foundation if you guys wanted to try out a good full coverage 
And then the next replenishment I need to get was my liner. You guys know I love their brush on clean li cream liner in true black and I have maybe like eight to 10% left of what originally comes in there. You can't really tell because of the lighting, but it's basically at the bottom because I use it like five days a week. And so I picked up another one. And this is the package that it comes in. And if you guys wanna, it comes like that. It comes with a little brush. I'm not gonna open it because I just got it and I wanna wait till I finish that one to open it. And it comes with a little brush. I don't use it. You could, I use the MAC 210 if you guys are wondering. That's just my favorite brush for applying the liner. So I highly recommend this. If you guys have not tried it, go to your local Clinique or Sephora and try to find it. And then another item I had on my list to pick up was the Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. This is almost like a pre-wash to your daily like cleansing routine for cleaning your face. And I needed it because to remove my makeup because I do wear quite a bit of makeup on a daily basis. And I actually really, really like this. And this is a cream to mousse cleanser. And it literally makes your skin your skin like squeak like you just foam it up put it on your face I it says not to, you don't have to use it on your eyes or anything I do it just close your eyes tight I'm not telling you you have to do it but that's what I do because it takes literally everything off it takes off my mascara everything and so I like using this as a pre-wash because then I feel like I'm not using so much of my liquid soap on a daily basis and going through it really fast so I highly recommend this it is such a nice feeling especially if you have dry combo skin it says it's for every skin type but I can't speak because I'm not oily skinned but I really like this last thing I picked up if you guys watched my favorites video, I said that in that video, I love the, um, it's the chubby stick for the eyes and it's called Ample Amber. And I do have like Mac, all that glitters and stuff like that, that I like to put over it. But I actually found this one and this eyeshadow is called Sunset Glow. And that's what it looks like. And it's just a very pretty combination when you put them on top of each other. They're really close in shade range. So I figured, you know, that's going to be really pretty and all that glitter is a little bit stronger so I like sometimes to have a lighter I'll place this on my lid that's where I mainly put it and then I'll put something in my outer V and so depending on what I'm gonna put in my outer V I'll either wear this or all that glitters so I will swatch it for you guys so you guys can see it so that's just one little swatchy there if you guys can see it well maybe I'll make it bolder for you guys but I just like the combination so I highly recommend that if you guys have not tried their shadows this is actually the first shadow I've owned from them in a really long time so I actually really really like it okay the last thing I picked up was because with the weather changing my I have dry combo skin and my the first place that gets dry is my under eye area so I flip flop concealers quite a bit during the year it'll go from like Mac Pro Longwear to Clinique line smoothing and then I needed something that was more moisturizing because I've already noticed my under eye area getting a little bit dry. And I don't like my under eye area to look dry when I wear concealer. So I went ahead and I started looking. Now I had seen this since Shannon Harris from Shannon XO had said she loved this one a couple of months back when it first came out. And I'm talking about the NARS, I think it's a NARS Radiant Concealer. I'll put the full name of it down below. I don't think it actually has it on here. Yeah, it doesn't. And I got the one in Custard. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. It is super moisturizing and it has great coverage and since I only use it under my eyes I wanted to get something a little brighter too while I was at it because I may lighten up just a tad bit with um, fall and winter will fall upon us winter is coming closer and closer every day and that is what it looks like now when you're searching for the colors um, normally for concealers I'm in the first one to three shade ranges I'm actually in the number five shade range for this one the number three was like a honey tone and it was too dark for me. So I went ahead and I went two shades over and I caught custard. So just go ahead and swatch it on your skin tone and see which matches up better because it, it's not necessarily in order of skin tone. It just has honey has a stronger undertone of um, golden and I, I don't have golden undertones. So I went ahead and I got this one and I'm completely happy with it. It is so super moisturizing even when it settle it sets and all that and I don't have to set it with a powder it just feels so great on my skin so if you guys are having dry skin and you know as weather you know the colder weather comes in it's starting to get a little you know you need some hydration under your eyes and I use an eye cream every single day um, and I just was struggling with a little bit of that dryness that I cannot stand then go check this out because it really is hydrating and it has amazing coverage so there you have it that is my haul for the last week I hope you guys liked everything I picked up now if you guys can think of any fall colors whether that be lip eye mainly cheek because I need some fall blushes then go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will make sure to check those out and if I pick it up I will give you guys the credit on my next video so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you next time